And hello, and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles 3 Post-Game Edition. I was about to jump. I was about to jump real hard there. I am currently in the process of not remembering what the fuck's going on here. Oh, this was the battle arena place that we, like, fell into. I didn't realize we still had access to it. That's guy. cool. This is something decent, right? So, uh, oh, starting to get home I'm, now. I'm not actually entirely sure how to walk back here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, um, jump towards it. Huh? Where's the queen? Maybe she isn't there. But where is she then? Yeah, da, 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 da. Yeah. Huh? What a more classic look. Uh, haven't worn this for a while. Still looks pretty natty though, eh, near old fox? So tough to get around here, those bloody formal duds. One false step, and you fall flat on your face. Ah, oh, I finally feel like I can be myself. Really cut loose, I love it. Oh! Hi. Oh. Super high. <laughs> what, 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 what are you guys doing here? We just, uh... What are you... Um, Majesty, your clothes. Wait, just hang on. Give me a second here, all right? <sighs> well met, all of you. Please accept my heartfelt welcome. I can offer you only a simple welcome today. But do please make yourselves comfortable. Hmm. Is something the matter? Doesn't it wear on you? Acting like that. W what? Uh, Noah? No, it's perfectly fine. Dispense with such concerns. Pray! Let not my regal status prohibit you from presenting your inquiries. Please, speak your minds. All right, well, here's a question. What's that get up all about? Uh, uh, yes, perhaps you would find my clothes rather curious. As if they're from another time, even. I mean, if you don't want to talk about it, that's cool. No sweat. Oh. No, it's nothing like that. Before, I told you all how the world was once divided into two, if you recall. Yes, you told us when we first met. How could we forget that, Your Majesty? These clothes belong to that era, when the worlds were two, unmingled. These raiments were created especially for me in that older realm. So... So they're from your old world, Majesty? Right. I suppose you could call it a keepsake of my motherland, if you like. Motherland? Can you explain that word, please? Oh no, there's so many layers you need to get into to explain that one! The place of my coming into existence in the world. Of my infancy and upbringing. We called that our motherland. Yeah, that's fair. That's actually probably a pretty good way to explain it. Your Majesty's motherland. What kind of place could it have been? Are you interested, Noah? I am. The subject seems so huge I can scarcely begin to imagine it. If it please you, I'd love to hear more about your world, Your Majesty. Certainly. I'd be happy to. Well, to begin with, I ought to explain...
actually, now that I think it over, if I were to tell you the whole of the story, a full day and night might not suffice, I fear. Yeah, it definitely took more than uh, four, uh, 24 hours to finish that game. In fact, I'm certain of it. Oh, I see. Then I'm sorry to have made such an unreasonable demand of you. Well, maybe another time then. Even then, surely you have important matters you ought to be taking care of. It won't do for me to detain you here. Huh? Well, I suppose so, but... Actually, I left this as the last thing to do, so this is literally my only priority. Therefore, let us go forth together. Yes, Your Majesty, as you wish. Wait. Uh, forgive me, Your Majesty. I don't think we quite heard right. I mean to say that I will accompany you on your travels. That way, I'll be able to continue my tales. Night and day, every day, if needs be. Ah. I mean, that is not not to imply that being cooped up here the whole time is as lonesome as it is tedious. Or that I'm well pleased with myself for inventing an elegant, way sneaky excuse to get out. <laughs> way sneaky, eh? It's nothing like that at all. Please, do not misinterpret it, this. No one was saying that anyway. Um, I suppose it may be a bit much, eh? Uh, we weren't saying that either. All right, then. It's decided. A deal, shall we say? Y yes, Your Majesty. They were bullied into this one. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> okay, then. Um... We humbly beg your grace, your majesty. Or, or was that respectfully? Oh, come now. No need for such formality. I ask only for your kind support, Noah. Oh, and from now on, I'd like you to address me simply as Nia. From now on, I'll be just another one of your ordinary fellow traveling folk. Special events across the world. Okay. I might need to look something up, because that's quite a vague... Oh, it's been so flippin' long! Yes, it has. Uh, uh, what I mean to say is... Oh, forget it. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, healer, as strong as the healer class, is able to support the entire party, heals allies with, while dealing defense, ignoring damage to enemies. Strongest of the healer classes. Intimesting. That's cool. So. You know, as much as I like the clothes system, they really did not do a particularly great job for a lot of these. In terms of actually making them. Like that, I can sort of. I can sort of see that one work. This one is just. What? That works way better for her because it's because it's just going over her normal stuff and it's just the freaking Okay, suddenly I need to see everyone's because it's such a Maybe that's what they were trying to do. Where it varies so much just because of how little it actually adds and it's just their base below it. Yeah, I guess that's not bad. This is gonna be funny. Yeah, that looks stupid. Uh, also <laughs> stupid. Yeah, that's not particularly good either. Basically, it looks good on Mio and maybe Senna. And then outside of that... No. <laughs> that's pretty interesting. Very specific towards a very specific situation, but that does look good. Do you think this plan might work? Ooh, that's good. I have to remember that one. Re reactivates all characters except self. That's really good. Oh, we were 
Was that enough? Was that enough? No! Okay, so yeah, it is distinctly more for this cla these classes to get them up to 10 than the DLC class that I got. Also, I didn't take note of, uh, notice of it before, just because I have heard this music before. Salvation's Ripple. I wonder how... Sen I, I, like, I don't remember stuff well enough to know for sure what they were uh, previously. And this should be the end of it. Uh, the end of the grinding. Phase. Still playing uneasy for fullest disclosure-ish thing-ish. I swear to goodness that was enough. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, this is still... Hero probably would be a. Uh, I'll come with you. I'd and probably be pretty happy with this combination. Future. The only thing, uh, Nia seems this. really good for like if you're taking on really high challenge stuff for that revive, basically. On your last feet, bring everyone back up, but it's not useful unless you're in that situation. So it becomes a bit um, less useful if you've got things under control, which you usually want. Right? Uh, what were we supposed to do? Fuck, what were we supposed to do? I'm just gonna lie here, and you can't stop me. So, first thing to check first. Uh, this will be cut out if I'm wrong. Not a... Okay. So it definitely made it seem like it wanted me to explore the world with her. So I'm gonna look up a guide. I can't wait to see the look on Gondor's face when she sees you, Gondor. <laughs> oh yeah, that—that's tempting. She's probably sitting around somewhere, right? <laughs> okay, I looked up a guide. There's like four places I need to go, basically. Oh, what do you plonkers want now? Hey, come on. Don't be like that. We're just here to say hi. Huh? What's that? You got time on your hands, have you? Uh, I didn't mean to say that. Huh? Why? If it isn't... I believe this is the first time we speak directly, isn't it, Gondor? Can someone tell me what the hell's going on? What's the Queen of Agnes doing here? What is the Queen of Agnes doing at Agnes Castle? I don't know. It's a mystery. Oh, uh, hang on. I suppose we are in Agnes Castle right now. So, maybe it's not so weird to see you here. Uh-huh. But what I don't get is, why does the Queen of Agnes seem to know about me? That's... Well, it's a long story. The Vandham name, and those that bear it, have a deep meaning for me. There was a Vandham in both 1 and 2, but I don't remember if there's any establishment that they were related to each other. But yeah, no, hers would also be probably pretty emotional if I remember correctly. Yeah, no, I remember who it was now. You mean my family? In the past, I... we... We're saved by a man called Vandam. He taught us a lot about life and what it was we were called to do. It's no exaggeration to say that without him, there would be no me. Huh? A real deep connection between Nia and Gondor's fan? Spooky. The memories of it are all but lost now. 
These were events of the distant past. Oh, oh. Uh, more to the point. Seems you dags have gotten pretty used to chumming up with royalty. Like it's no big thing. Well, Nia asked us to treat her that way. Like another one of the gang. Come on, Gondor. Surely you more than anyone wouldn't expect us to mince our words around Nia. Wind your neck in, will ya? Nothing wrong with how I talk. <laughs> oh, you're so bold and unabashed. I simply adore it. Uh, oh, I uh, suppose I am. I mean, you've passed through the conflict with a false queen, maintained order in the castle. There are a lot of things that came about because of your blood, sweat and tears, Gondor. Huh? Well, that's a real heck of a compliment. Too much for the likes of me, maybe, you match. <laughs> All I reckon we really did was set a few boundaries to stop things going daft. I don't have a clue about your acne and folks, though. You're just being humble, Gondor. Please, there's no need for it. It's not easy to earn people's trust, to maintain the balance, and you do all that while still remaining natural, unadulterated Gondor. Oi! I'm basically an adult. I'm almost... Ah, oh, forget it. Gondor, you really soften up when you get a few kind words, don't you? Huh? Who are you calling soft? I hope Agnes can count on your continued support. I mean... What I'd really like to be saying right now is bite me. Yeah. Like a positive way or a negative way? Because I can see both right now. But since I've got a real deal queen going to all the trouble of asking me, I guess I've got to at least consider the request a bit. What request? Did we make a request? From the bottom of my heart. Thank you, Gondor. As the nominal lady of Agnes Castle, I bestow upon you my sincere admiration for fulfilling the... Hey! Whoa! Enough already! It's like you want to make me squirm. That is the true power of Nia. Her ability to awkwardly make people squirm and make everyone feel extremely awkward. Ah, there's our Gondor. Just shut up! Will you? We're done talking about me, all right? You Ouroboros assholes, mind your own beeswax, all right? I better not hear you've been holding the queen back. You're a real goofy bunch, aren't you? Just being around your cans is a hazard. <sighs> Pot calling the kettle black much there, Gondor love. A little, a little, a little. Ooh, one of four. Okay, off to the next one then. Yeah, Van Am. I haven't thought about that sacrifice that he made in a long time. That really does bring back the memory. I think I might need a moment to reflect. Yeah, this is going to be uh, probably pretty significant. Oh my goodness, I actually haven't gone back here to get the, the thing. Your Majesty, there you are. Please, it's Nia. You aren't used to it yet, do you? Oh, I'm sorry, you Please forgive me, it's just... <laughs> it's fine. I may have taken my teasing a step too far, there. Uh, I hope what I'm about to say doesn't come out the wrong way, but... Yes? It's just... You're our queen. We believed you were the one that gave us all life, and that we'd return to you in the end. You were like this awesome being high above. None of us could even dream of talking to you. And now you're just traveling along with us and chatting like it's an everyday thing. It's just really bizarre to me somehow. Like things have been switched around. It still feels a little strange. I mean, is there one belief that you've had in life so far that hasn't been upended to some capacity? Could it be that it just hasn't sunk in yet? I see. <laughs> but 
Well, it's the same for me. W what? I'm sure I've told you this before, but please indulge me. While I was asleep in the Cloud Keep, I was getting information about what was happening in the world. So I knew long before that you were not M, but an independent being called Mio. But it was nothing more than information. I wanted to truly know you more than anyone else. But I couldn't touch you, couldn't make contact. I felt so close to you, but you were still this distant, far off thing. It was so frustrating. But right now, you're so close, I can reach out and touch you, speak with you even. I never thought the day would come. It's a truly strange feeling. It's the same for me. Indeed. It's amazing, really, the way things worked out, don't you think? <sighs> for sure. If I hadn't become Ouroboros, I'd never have had the chance to meet you, Nia. Sometimes, a small pebble starts the avalanche which changes your whole future, don't you think? No, I don't think you can put it all down to chance. Huh? What do you mean? I think we met because we were supposed to, Mio. It was meant to be. Because, to me, you're... Hey! Mio! Nia! You're... We're heading out soon, guys. Get a move on or you'll get left behind. Well, they're certainly suggesting at the connection that... I don't remember how I speculated before, but, like, the idea that she's... A relative? Or some sort of, via the reincarnation system, a version of Nia? Or at least a relative in some form? Via all the history stuff that happened otherwise? Especially considering where they're talking about it, the relative part feels more likely. Shall we go join the others? Sure. Let's do that. Mio? Yes? I'm really glad we got to talk like this. Yeah. Me too. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Fuck, there's more of a delay than I thought. <laughs> At least this isn't the last one I'm doing. That was a nice one to do. Any more specific things to say? Let's fand him. Uh, I guess I never actually came here and realized... Oh my goodness, there's so much more than I was expecting. Cassini. Oh, I have no idea, to be honest. Well, that guy looks like Shulk. I'm not sure that one looks like anything. That looks like Larry Butts from Ace Attorney. That looks a bit like, uh... More than anything, that looks like, uh... Noah here. That's our resident cat girl, so could be any of them. That looks like... Um, if I had to pick someone, Jin, maybe? All this means nothing, ultimately. At least in terms of uh, my speculation means nothing. Those empty ruins. Well, she got particularly excited about it. Running off over there. Which ruins? Oh. 
Nia? Everything all right? This place you call Mac the Wildwood. Do you know anything about all the ruins and things scattered around here? So, by concept, they look like they're the, like, stuff down that was at the bottom of the cloud ocean, right? Uh, like, uh, the beginning, or in Xenoblade 2. They look like the sort of, like, modern world buildings from that. No, to tell the truth. I never paint them any mind, I guess. But now you mention them, they do seem pretty weird. Yeah, I'd... I don't recall actually, like, looking very deeply into that, uh, or thinking deeply about that before. Just from, like, what I saw behind Nia there is what I was thinking. Oh. Hey, is this also related to stuff from your old world, Nia? That's a good guess, Senna. Not quite right, but you aren't far off. Please, explain. All right, I will. This is probably something you ought to know about. I told you before about Ionios's creation, right? Well, what I'm about to talk about goes back much further into the past than that. You mean, when the worlds were won? The people of that time had access to absolute power, using it to create and enjoy a flourishing civilization. But in the end, they started to fight each other for control over that very power. And because of that, the power became a calamity and ripped the world in two. What we're looking at now is the remnants of the destruction that humanity has wrought. So the true meaning of all this ruin is to stand as a monument to the history that created this world. If you really think about it, we human beings are the cause of all of it. I don't get it. Why fight till everything burns? The answer is because they were afraid. Yeah, that's the ultimate driver there. Hey, I mean, why would we just mutually assure destruction? Because we don't want to be destroyed. And if we don't uh, destroy them back, they might destroy us because they won't be afraid of destroying us. Or they might be afraid of destroying us, but not to the extent that they'd stop destroying us, because it might destroy them. So you actually actually have to be, like, be able to hold up that word, right? It is a relentless, futile cycle of distrust. Afraid of what? Afraid of ending. All life. All civilizations and cultures, everything comes to an end in time. Of course, humans are part of the world too. We can't escape that rule either. But people never stop looking for a way, even if it means going beyond the rules. Eternity. That's what they were searching for. Eternity. If the present moment carries on forever, then the end will never come. That's eternity. Oh, hey, look, the theme's the game. With that, the miserable decay that you're looking at now would never come to pass. <sighs> I think you probably all know the rest of the story already. Why this world that we're in now is called Ionios, the realm of eternity. Zed also wants eternity. Just as the people did back then. Z indeed does want that. But, I mean, even though they were longing for eternity, to sacrifice so many lives to achieve it, it's not... It can't be right. I agree. We might get hurt, and someday we'll be gone. But we have to keep moving forward in spite of all that. That's what it means to live. Right, Nia? I mean, I agree with the sentiment. Um, I feel as though the experiences in life are a lot more important than the eternity of it. Yes, exactly right. That must be clear to you all now. You should hold on to that vision of life. 
Cherish it as you go forward. Keep that in your heart so that you never repeat the mistakes of the past. So, are, I wonder, is she assuming that? Is she assuming the elements of this question of... Oh, it got foggy. Just in time. Is she assuming? Because we've seen flashbacks to those moments in the past, but... I don't feel like we've ever... Specifically seen... That's the way to phrase it. Uh, the motivations outside of, like, that one guy that created the Xenoblade 1 part of it. Like... It, it didn't seem like that same premise, right? Oh, maybe it was. I'm trying to remember what his exact motivation was, but it wasn't like a societal... It could be just he was part of society, so that wasn't a, a motivation. Hmm. It's an interesting thought, and also requires me to remember a lot more than I'm currently capable of remembering, apparently. So, whoops. The scent of Sophronia. This takes me back. Oh, is it going to be happy memory? That would be a nice one to end on. Takes you back? You mean you know what this is? Yes, of course. Sophronia trees used to grow in the world that I came from, you see. Huh? For real? So that's where Sophronia trees come from. Who'd have guessed? That's not all. What you call the Orion Mountains came from my world, too. Whoa! Seriously? I always thought they were funny-shaped mountains. I mean, now they're mountains. Back then, they weren't so picturesque. Are there more places like this? Stuff that we don't know the true origin of? Actually, yes. In fact, I dare say, Pretty much everywhere you've seen till now. Makes sense. If you hadn't been here, we'd have just walked right past like it was no big thing. I suppose it's good for you all to know about how things were in the old world. Well, now you've got all this new perspective, why not have a look back at the path you already traced? Looking back at where we came from? That could be a really valuable experience. Yes. Please, give it some thought. The path that you're on now will lead you to the future that you've dreamed of. That's a that's a nice sentiment. That, that's a nice one to end off of the four. Yay! I hope it leads to something similarly. Uh, something so valuable here. Yeah. Hardening. That would be the word. Hardening. Okay, let's discuss it properly. We need to lay all this out. Okay, so what we got next? Good question. Yeah, anywhere you still want to go? Hmm. Well, if you're asking me to choose, then I may have to ask your advice first. Sure, I hope we can give you a decent answer. In all the places you guys have been so far, was there a place where you could look the sky up close, almost touch it? But what do you mean, close to the sky? Uh, I guess she means, like, have you ever been to the highest place in the world, right? The highest place, um... Have we? Maybe? Maybe not. Isn't that where you'd like to go now? Uh, is that where you'd like to go now, Nia? Yes, I mean, I don't have any real, uh, major reason for it, but... Just when you asked where I wanted to go, that was the first th uh, thing that popped into my head. You're missing the cloud sea! What, the sky, you mean? Maybe. When I look up the sky, I just... Well, go back there. A sort of nostalgia. Huh. Well, if that's what you want, then why don't we try and find a high place for you? Oh, really? You're good at that? Uh, well, the natural place that would probably be would be, I want to say, the sword. Top of that. Uh, I'm cool with it. Anyway. Uh, it was me who brought up this whole where do you want to go chat in the first place. If there's way up there, a skyscraping place like that, I'd love to check it out myself. You guys... Thank you so much. I guess I'm counting on you all over again. Let's find it together, then. The place where we'll be close enough to uh, touch the sky. 
interesting. Yeah, I really, 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 really like the aesthetic and the feel of the Cloud Sea. It's such a cool concept. Xenoblade 1 had all, like, on the giants, and that's, co like, cool, but there's an aesthetic to the Cloud Sea that I really, really like. It's probably, like, the right. one main, like, obviously, the journey. inspiration, the inspiration here is clearly a different one, where it's Sword March. Oh, that seems likely to be the place, then. Ooh. Where is... Oh, this place. So this game is more about, like, smashing the two together. So I'm very curious for whatever game they do next. What they'll do in terms of, like... That's, like, one of the things I really like about the, the series is that... Uh, oh, my goodness. 80s? Is this, like, a rare it's actually thing? putting me in an area that I'm, like, at level for? Uh-oh. Yeah. -oh. Be careful. Yeah, I'm very curious what they'll do in the future for, like, just location concepts, basically. Cloud C. I don't know, the Cloud C is going to be hard to, you know... Hard to one-up, basically. They're on us. Orders? Oh fuck, Mio's still 28! Uh-oh. There are higher places on this, but I'm not sure we're able to get any higher, at the very least. Ah, such a blue sky. Though the world changes, no matter what form it may take, the sky up there, it stays the same. Thank you. I'm grateful to all of you. It's kind of you to indulge me like this. No, it's fine. Don't forget, asking you along was our idea. I'm pleased you all became Ouroboros. I'm glad that you did. N Neo, what's gotten into you? Why are you saying this now? When this battle is over, the stationary worlds will move once again. When the worlds were divided, they knew nothing of each other. In the end, they'll be strangers once again. Perfectly ignorant. As will we. <sighs> Even so, I wanted to make a memory. The day when we part for good, it's coming. But still, I wanted us to share this moment. I wanted to feel that special connection, those ties that bind us together. Not just as your queen, but also as your friend. Nia. So just... Thank you. In the end, it's up to you. My hope is invested in your future. You must defeat Zed and make a better world with your own hands. Hey, that's not quite right. Huh? That better world. You'll be building it together with us, Nia. Y you mean... I mean, even if we do get separated, someday we'll see each other again. We want you with us, Nia, in that future. How could we not? We need you. Brother... Please stay. Because the connection we share. Nia, that's something that can never be broken. Mio. I mean, if that's the future that you want. N no, let me try that again. That future, I'll share it with you. It's not just yours. It's our future we'll invest in. For that, we need this world to end. Until that time. Yeah. We'll be by your side until then, Nia.
what more is there to say? Okay, there's that more to say. You're... Don't chase me! Fuck it! This is how we end the series. Expansion pack next. Queen's End of game! I'm actually just gonna end it there. <laughs>